Okay, next is the blue with a green stripe wire, which is for AC. Even if you do not have AC on your car, I highly recommend going ahead and swapping this wire over just in case one day you sell the harness to someone that has a car with AC. It doesn't take a couple minutes to go ahead and do it and do it right, get it done. It's not going to hurt anything to have it done already. So, like I say, I highly recommend going ahead and doing it. And like I said before, this one's in a different location on the single overhead car. So that's where we're going to put it on here. So we'll depin this one. Connect it on the single overhead connector. Wiggle it, make sure it's in. And all four of those wires are done. Okay, next is the orange wire. Going to depin it from the KA connector. Going to depin it from the dual overhead connector. Now we'll deep in this one from the single overhead connector. And we'll connect the wire from the dual overhead to the single overhead connector. Like I said before, it's going in the same spot as it came off the dual overhead. So you're going to end up with one, two, three, four, five wires on your single overhead connector. And we'll go back to the uh, dual overhead harness here. Like I stated before, this harness is for ABS because it has the gray, the black, and the white wires. Whereas our single overhead car does not have ABS. So we're not going to use these wires. We're going to remove them from the connector. Basically what we're going to do is cut them off at different lengths and tape them up. You could actually go through the entire harness and pull the whole wiring out for the ABS if you like. It is a little more work involved but you can do it to clean it up. Also another wire on the dual overhead harness, since we're going to be using the dual overhead harness, is a black wire on the bottom here. It's actually a ground wire. And since you don't have a ground on the single overhead car in the dash plug location, you can take this wire cut it off and just wire it to a black wire on the harness which will ground it like it doesn't really matter which one you use on the e like on the ECU plug here you have quite a few black wires they're all for ground all you gotta do is splice and uh, solder it on to another black wire and you'll have your ground there and also as you'll note this red with black striped wire right here has been cut and soldered a few times for whatever reason I have to fix that. This is for your ECS, ECCS relay. So I'm definitely going to have to fix that. Okay, now we're going to remove the gray, the black, and the white wire off the dual overhead cam plug. Because we're not keeping ABS, because our single overhead car does not have ABS. And now what we'll do is we'll cut these off at different lengths so they do not touch each other and then we'll tape them together so they don't touch anything and short anything out. Next is the black wire here. It is our ground wire on our dual overhead harness. Go ahead and remove it. And that one's off. And basically what we're going to do with this one is we're going to cut the pin off of it here, the connector, 
and then we're going to wire it onto another black wire on the harness for our ground since the single overhead car does not have a ground on the dash plug where the dual overhead cam harness does. Now we'll go ahead and remove all the other wires that we're not using on the single overhead connector here. So this connector is done. I'm going to go ahead and close it and lock it up. Take the teeth, put them down in, push it down, and then press down on this side. It locks in. And over on this side, do the same thing. Get the teeth down in there, and press it down. And it's all locked on. We'll go over this again. Number one location is blue with a black stripe, which is your water temp. Number two location is yellow with a red stripe, which is your tack. Number three location is yellow with a green stripe, which is your speedometer. Number four location is blue with a green stripe, which is AC. Number eight location is orange, which is your start signal. And that's all the wires you're going to have on your dash plug. And we'll also go ahead and deep in the dual overhead cam connector. And basically, all the colors I just removed is green with yellow stripe, red, green with white stripe, green with a black stripe, and green. You could easily just cut off the plug and left them connected to the plug, but I'm removing this plug because I will use it on another K harness that is damaged. Now, as far as all these leftover wires that we had on the uh, dual overhead dash connector, they all run to the ECU plug. So we're going to depend them and just remove them completely. And the way you do that is you have the little sides here. You have some on each ones. So you need to determine where the wire is that you want to remove. And you want to take a little small flathead screwdriver and pop it over. Be very gentle with it because you can break it. That's what locks the wires on. And then pull it over. And that unhooks the wires. Like we'll start with the green with black stripe wire. After you got it unhooked there, you'll do the same thing. You'll take your pick tool on the other side of the connector. It has a little hook on the side of it too. While pulling on the wire, you will unhook the hook and the wire will come straight out and the entire wire is removed from the harness. Both ends to the ECU and to the dash plug. So if you want to, you can leave these wires on the dash plug or you can remove them completely. Like I said before, I'm going to use this dash plug on another harness so I don't need these wires. Since I have to repair this wire here, I'm going to leave this one open because I'm going to remove this wire and replace it from another harness. So I can get more wire to work with here because this one's cut short. Here we have the solid green wire here. Open this side up. Again, be very careful. Don't damage the wires or the connector. Okay, the green wire is out now. I don't have any more to take out on this side, so I'll go ahead and close this back up. Let's close it over and push it down until it clicks. And we'll move over to this side of the harness. Do the same thing. 